Hi guys, we are now going to be learning how to draw and measure reflex angles. These are the angles that are greater than 180 degrees or a straight angle. So got my materials. So the very first thing you're going to do is make your straight 180 degree angle just as a reference. Now be careful with this because a lot of people will just think, oh, well that's 180 degree angle. No, that is a straight line. What makes this a 180 degree angle is you have to have your point there showing that's your vertex and then this little line here so it looks like Snoopy's peeking over the fence. That is a 180 degree angle. So let's figure out how to make reflex angles. Well reflex angles look like acute and obtuse but the little squiggle line is different. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to just draw a line and then you can put any kind of an angle in here like let's say we're going to go here but instead of drawing on the inside you're going to be drawing on the outside. Now how do you measure that with a protractor? You need to think always in terms of if it's greater than 180 whatever number you come up with make sure it's greater than 180. So this is where you need to visualize now this angle. I'm just going to put a dotted line here because I want you to imagine that that angle went past 180 degrees. So in other words this is going here, it's going past 180 and then it's going to continue on. So this actually becomes now a problem like it's going from left to right. The angle's going from left to right. So what is going to be your protractor measurement? So if it's past 180 you're going to line up the line here now. Because my angle now is becoming like a left to right I'm going to use my top numbers. So I go like this, I keep following and then I see my line here it's going to 30 but a little bit past. So that's 32 degrees. So I'm going to write 32 degrees in here but is 32 greater than 180? No. So what you need to do is you have to do a little bit of math because it's 32 plus 180. So now you take that and you add that all up and you could see it's now 212 degrees. So my angle here, and you're going to write on the side of this here, is 212 degrees reflex angle. And once again you can pause these videos to go back so you can hear what I'm saying and to draw it in case it's too confusing because we will do a few more here now. Okay. Now we're going to do that's the version of you drawing a reflex and then just measuring it. We're going to make one now where we are going to actually know the measurement before. So I'm going to draw a line right here. I'm going to come here and I'm going to line it up and I'm going to do an angle where it's going from right to left. So I'm going to use these bottom numbers. So let's just come over here and say um, Um, sorry. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought here. I hate when I'm recording a video and then I'm changing my mind. Let's do another left to right one, but let's make a big one. So in other words, I'm going to put, line up my protractor here and I'm going to come to right here where you see it's 150. So I'm just going to write 150 degrees off to the side. That's not my finished completed angle yet. I'm going to go like this because this is our reflex angle. So it looks like Rudolph there. So if you remember before where I kind of drew in that dotted line. So imagine this is your 180. So you need to imagine this is 180 but we already measured this 150 so you're going to add 180 to 150. 
So we're going to add all these up right now. So you should know how to do the carrying with your with your addition. And this reflex angle is now 330 degrees. Okay. So now we're going to do one where we can measure it again, but we're going uh, the opposite direction. So in other words, we're going to come here. And let's, oh, yeah, I'm just drawing this in. So we're going to go like that. So how do we measure this reflex angle? So this is the opposite direction now. So you're going to have to imagine this is like your straight line. Well, what is this measurement? Well, that's 180 degrees. So we know that 180 needs to be added to whatever this angle is. So we take our protractor, line it up. Now remember, when you line this up, this angle is going past the straight angle. So it's like having a right to left angle. So it's going right to left. So we use the bottom number. So right to left, come over here and you can see that it's about 130 between 140, let's say about 133. That goes in here and then we add them up. So this angle is 313 degrees. Okay, now we're going to do one more with actually figuring out the measurement. So I'm going to take my line here and I'm going to line up to there. So we're going to do an example where it's going from right to left because that's my, imagine that's my straight line. So if I'm going right to left, I'm going to come here to, let's make a real big one. So it's going to actually be to 20. So that's 20 because you need to imagine, just join that up. I'm going to write 20 degrees off to the side because you have to imagine this line. This is your straight line. It's a reflex. So it's that 180 degrees plus that measurement we made over here going up to 20. So this reflex angle is in fact 200 degrees. Now I understand this will be a little bit more complicated for those of you who struggle. So take this video lesson and pause it. Try and recreate these angles and these drawings as much as you can so that you get that understanding because I'm going to move to uh, triangle angles on the next lesson. All right, so try these out and I will see you in a bit.